Hello and hi everybody, this is Tanya Tiba Habib, I'm role number 28 and I'm a student of MSc Clinical Nutrition and Dietetics and I'm presenting to you this short video on sanitation and hygiene in education institutions. Before we get on with that, let's know the definitions of the word and their importance in our lives. Sanitation. What is sanitation? It is the equipment and systems that keep places clean, especially by removing human waste. Hygiene. What is hygiene? It is keeping yourself and that around you clean in order to prevent diseases. Sanitation is more than just toilets. It encompasses the facilities, behavior, services that prevent dis disease caused by human waste. Hygiene refers to behaviors that can improve cleanliness and lead to good health. Now, why is it important? It's essential for good health. Bad sanitary habits like open defecation, not using toilet facilities properly, not washing hands after using toilet, improper garbage disposal, and clean places become breeding grounds for pests and disease causing organisms. Diseases like typhoid, diarrhea, tapeworm, malaria are all caused by bad sanitary habits. Now, let's get on with our topic. Schools and colleges are places of education. They are supposed to be clean in order to maintain healthy and safe education for all. This requires an all-around effort. On a global level, like in countries USA, UK, the sanitation and hygiene is maintained at all times. Sanitation and hygiene education institution involves cleaner classrooms, separate washrooms for boys and girls, washing hands after usage of washroom, flushing the washrooms, cleaning them at regular basis, menstrual hygiene for girls. A successful school is one that provides clean and safe environments for its students. This practice of sanitation and hygiene allows improved attendance, motivation to learn. Especially in the rural area where sanitation and hygiene is neglected, students show greater participation if there are cleaner washrooms and menstrual hygiene maintenance for girls. Schools in urban areas are usually private schools which maintain their facilities and also sanitation and hygiene are maintained with cleaner toilets and better facilities for the students. Wash. Drinking water and sanitation hygiene is a, a global is a word used to represent the global campaigns of sanitation and hygiene. According to UNICEF, globally, only 70% of schools have a basic sanitation service. In tri in three prim one in three primary schools and one in four secondary schools have no basic sanitation service. Globally, 539 million children do not have a basic sanitation service at school. These are san statistics of school sanitation from 2008 to 2012. In India, a number of schemes were launched like Central Rural Sanitation Program 1986, Total Sanitation Campaign TSC 1999, School Water and Sanitation Towards Health SWAST, Right to Education Act 2009, Nirmal Bharat Beyond 2012, and Swachh Bharat Kosh 2019, which is the latest one by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It is focused on clean India, which also implicates clean education institutions for children. The above table shows the non-existing toilets, partially constructed toilets, and the number of toilets which are not built in rural areas in schools. In Telangana, Swachh Bharat Shala is implemented on last Saturday of every month where awareness of hygiene, clean, cleaning classrooms, school premises, clean and maintenance of toilets are all done. Menstrual hygiene is another important aspect menstrual hygiene scheme adolescent where adolescent girls are educated about the importance of menstrual hygiene and are provided with good quality sanitary napkins menstrual hygiene is essential because menstruation usually causes an hindrance for the college going or school going girls from not attending schools or colleges this is it on sanitation and hygiene education institutions thank you